So the next plan is we've just arrived at Cardington. We're just stocking up the bags with water and checking we've got everything for the night. Uh, we're just going to go and have a, a cheeky pint in the pub. Well, there's a slight uh, change of plan. Uh, we parked at Cardington, as I just told you. We went to the pub and it was shut. Uh, it's 20 to 5, it doesn't open until half 6, was it? 6. six. Oh, yeah. So uh, if it was half an hour, we might have just hung around, but... We, uh, we've decided to be noble and push on to the top. So uh, we've missed out on a beer, but um, we'll have plenty tomorrow. So, uh, so yeah, we're, uh, we're now taking this little route that we did the other week uh, up, up to the Care Craddock. So we'll see you on the way, puffing and panting. Oh, yep. <laughs> That's slippy. <laughs> we bumped into a gentleman called Steve Pennington, who happens to be riding his quad bike and has kindly given us a lift. <laughs> so basically, we're cheating now. Beat this baby man. <laughs> Thank you ever so much, you're a gent. Thanks, Steve. Stupid way. You're, you're a saint. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you again. Cheers. Have a good day, mate. Cheers. <sighs> that was something now. <laughs> that was, wasn't it, eh? Oh, my God. That was a gentleman. Well, apparently, it's his land, and we basically told him we're wild camping, and he says, enjoy yourself, it'll be a bit cold. Did he? Yeah. I couldn't hear him. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's taken the, uh, that's, that's cheered us up, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we were a bit bloody mopey coming up that hill. Fucking hell, wait till I do me in the <laughs> Did you vlog it on there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Insert the puffing and panting scene now. <sighs> <laughs> well, the quad bike bloke took us up the track, but we've had to do all of that. You see where that pink top lady is with her dogs? And we've just come up there. Oh, and it's the end of a long day, and we're certainly feeling it. But we're gonna get to that saddle, hang a right, and then these packs and my boots are coming off. Oh, well, we're here. It might only be a hill in this church Stretton area, but uh, that's quite a climb up there. And it's uh, fantastic when you get to the top. Look at that. You'll be impressed with yourself, mate, if you manage to do this. You'll be uh, you'll be proud of yourself. So uh, there you go. Set your challenge. This is the, probably the best place to to do. And uh, any help you want, mate, as far as uh, kit and everything, remember I'll help you out. So uh, yeah, you'll love it. Right, the tarp is up. It's flapping a bit in the wind, but it's up. And uh, I don't care, I'm slipping in that in a bit. Dave's going for the Lanshan. Wish I'd brought mine now. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna get a, a cup of hot chocolate coffee up and then I'll show you my tea. creation I have a chap to thank oh, my 
name's Tom from Off the Beaten Pot. So thank you, Tom. And uh, I contacted him through his YouTube channel, and he was absolutely brilliant. And uh, sent me, emailed me the proper recipe for a little meal that he did on a Summit or Nothing channel with uh, Trev. Um, and I tried it at home just to be on, you know, a little practice run. The first one was not so good, so I persisted. Uh, did another one and added a few little bits, and it was absolutely gorgeous. So for tea tonight, I've got this curry. And we weighed it out on the scales, and it was 160 grams you've got to carry. So, you know, nothing really. Uh, I'll put the recipe on me little description, so if you want to take advantage of Tom's knowledge, be my guest. Go in there, lentils, curry powder, thyme, turmeric, uh, I added a bit of mixed fruit, coconut and some milk powder and basically it just goes in the pot with water and cook it through uh, and it's absolutely divine. So I've not actually done this in the wild, I did it at home on the cooker in the kitchen so anything can go wrong. So let's give it, give it a go. See if it'll fit in the pan. This thing just packed up on me, so I'm just. Uh... Doing it again now. Nice gentle heat and keep stirring it, I think. So we're on there. So I'm going to stir all that through and uh, take about. I don't know, it's about 10 minutes, but we'll see. I won't bore you with a whole uh, 10 minute of me stirring it. But um, I'll show you the result at the end. A bit of spinach there, it's gone a bit rank, but it's going in anyway. And I've got some pita bread just to soak it up. Oh, my cooker's gone out again, hold on. No, it doesn't. Doing very well though, is it? Well, my gas cooker's failed on me, so there's an interesting. What we going shopping again? Might be something to do with a cartridge, but anyway, Dave's rescued me. He's got his little mess burner. I'm gonna have to be very kind to Dave now, because I've got no way of having my breakfast otherwise. <laughs> Right, good old Dave to the rescue with his mess burner, otherwise that would have been game over. But um, the curry, I think that's about ready. Spinach has gone in. I reckon I'm going to call that cooked. Okay. Put that in there. Look! It's a t-shirt. Shopshire lad. Coming over to this one for <laughs> a bit more banter though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel absolutely knackered. It's taking it out of me actually. So, uh, my bed's ready. It's only uh, 20 to 8, but God, it looks tempting. Um, but the clouds are sort of let the sun through for a bit. So you can have a good view here. This is what we were, if it was a lovely still night, my, my plan was we would just sit the sleeping bags out on the mats about here and just fall asleep watching all that, all the sun go down on that, but the weather has uh, altered that slightly. So anyway, I'll give you a little uh, time lapse of that, of the, of the sun. Bad is it? <laughs> 
talked to all over there earlier on beef. There's the lawley. I've been up this bit. And here's our little camp. Right ladies and gents, it is ten past nine, so it's daddy's bedtime. <laughs> Hikers midnight. So uh, this thing's gonna piss me off all night. So you live and you learn, but that won't be coming again. YouTube <laughs> Now Dave the sensible one, because I couldn't be asked because I was just too tired, suggested that we move. So we've gone from there to here, because for some strange reason, just in this little bit here, it's quite sheltered. And my tarp's almost motionless now. Because what was happening was the wind was whistling up the side of the of the hill and coming up this little tunnel, I guess, and just blasting the hell out of us. It's actually dropped in the last half an hour. But uh, I wasn't going to get any sleep. Thing collapsed twice. So, uh, well done, Mr. Outdoors. That was a good call. You're welcome. I'm going to uh, try and get in there now, should be interesting, so uh, hopefully if all goes well I'll see you in the morning, if not I'll see you in the middle of the night. Morning. I think I sussed out the problem with my stove, what had happened folks, is uh, this, this, I got it that hot whole thing got that hot a little ball bearing or I assume it's like a plasticky thing in there in the gas canister thread um, melted anyway so I filed a bit off the top poked it around a bit and I might just be able to get it to so lesson learned don't get it too hot because it does go a bit ferocious but it's just impatience isn't it so Morning. Well, I'm up and out of bed. Dave's still uh, resting his eyelids. Yeah, I'm expecting Stewie in a bit. I don't know about another hour. He said he was 500 metres from the bottom. So I was expecting him around, around there. He must be coming up here, I think. That's the hard way if he's coming up there. Right, we've packed up the bag, pretty much there, just going to let this dry out a bit more. Uh, we're just waiting for Stewie now, he's probably about halfway up, I would think. And uh, we're going to have a bit of breakfast in a minute. And I just thought I'd show you this. It'll... So this is again, thanks to Tom from uh, Off The Beaten Pot. And thank you, Tom, because I know you've been uh, going through some uh, difficult times at the moment. But in the middle of all that, he took the time to write to me with those recipes and the ingredient list everything so uh, you know brilliant thank you very much for that that curry was absolutely gorgeous I mean, farting like a trooper um, that's all bonus isn't it uh, and this is my breakfast this is uh, porridge oats um, mixed fruit cinnamon coconut desiccated coconut and um, milk powder so it weighs next to nothing and all I've been doing, I've been having this for my breakfast at home, it's that nice. Um, so you just boil up your water, put that in the plastic cup there, and then put the boiling water in and just leave it to soak, um, stir it through. You can cook it, um, but uh, I didn't bother, it was fine once the boiling water gets in there, softens it all up. Hello! <laughs> That's not very nice. I'll have to edit that now. Right guys, we've... Uh, We've all done, we've breakfasted. Stewie's come up to join us and showed you. Here's our little pat, not a, not a bean left. So uh, thank you, Mr. Pennington. We've looked after it. We wouldn't uh, do anything else. Um, it's been a pleasure. Cheering up a little bit. So we're gonna go over the top again, round, pretty much retrace our steps down to there. And then we're gonna walk back to Cardington and Stewie's gonna 
head back uh, Church Stretton. So yeah, I enjoyed that. Here's a cracking spot up here. It was so high. So well, one more last look at me view. And we definitely bagged the best day. Because uh, if you're walking today, it would have been, yeah. Right, we've uh, descended the Karadik. Uh, it's a lot calmer down here than it was up there and uh, we're back on the track and uh, Stewie's parked down that end so we're going to park company with Stewie now and Dave back to Cardington and get the cars so uh, I think I'll sign off here so I hope you enjoyed the uh, camping a bit more camping video than uh, than just walking and uh, yours <laughs> and uh, I'll see you on the next one cheers